Hey guys, so welcome back. In this video, we'll be trying to solve the 670th lead code problem that is maximum swap. Okay, so given a non negative integer, you could swap two digits at most once to get the maximum valued number. Return the maximum valued number you could get. Okay, um, so now if you interchange 2 and 7, like you'll get the biggest number, right? That is 7236. But in this case, 9973. Like there is no possible way of like interchanging it that like you could get a number bigger than this one, right? So you are supposed to output the same number. So now let's see how we can solve this, okay? Um, okay, so now let's say we have a number that is 2736, okay? Now the first thing we'll do is we'll convert this into a string and we'll put this inside a list, okay? So now our list will have something like 2, 7, um, 3 and 6. Okay. Now we will be having two variables which will allow us to like know which is the biggest um, number like to interchange with. So I'll say what I mean by that. We'll be having largest. Okay. So now largest will be equal to 0 by default and we'll be having index so now index will basically be the index of the largest number to swap with okay so we can exchange with that at the end okay now i'll be having a nested for loop okay so my first for loop will begin from 2 okay and my second for loop will um, begin from i plus 1 that is from 7 in this case okay so now we'll be checking if 7 is bigger than 2 or not now since 7 is bigger than 2 we know for a fact that this can be a possible swap right so now what we'll do is we will um, um, put the value of largest as 7 and we'll put the index as 1 right because the index of the number 7 is 1 then we'll come on to 3 now we have to check if 3 is bigger than 7 or not like only then will we modify that with the largest array so let's say i mean the largest variable so now why is that because if you exchange 2 and 7 you get 7 2 3 6 right but if you exchange 3 and 2 you get 3 7 2 6 now of course 7 2 3 6 is bigger right so yeah you have to always make sure that the uh like the element in the j loop is bigger than largest so now in this case 3 is smaller than largest so we'll skip it okay now we'll come on to 6 even 6 we know for a fact that it is smaller than largest so we'll skip it okay now after this j loop gets over we have to check if largest is 0 or not so now if largest is equal to 0 we know for a fact that we found no big numbers that we can interchange with so now in this case like let's say for example i had 211 so in this case we can't interchange this in any way to get a number bigger than 211 right so now in this case largest will be zero right because in this case like when we come across one one is smaller than two so now largest will be zero then when we will come across this one it will still be zero right okay so now after a jlu we are supposed to check if largest is bigger than zero or not so now if it's zero we'll continue with the i loop but if it is not zero we like it means that we found a possible match so what we'll do is we will just exchange the values so we'll um, put i mean we like remake the list as seven two three six and that should be it and all we'll do is we'll join this list so it becomes a string and we'll convert this to an integer okay now that is the basic idea about how to solve this problem okay now uh, there's one more exceptional case i want to talk to you guys about uh, so now the process of checking with largest right so now the process okay now like let's say for example i had a number one one two two okay now we have to check if L of i, like let's just say the, um, this number is L, okay. We have to check if L of i 
is smaller than L of J which basically means that like the L of J is bigger and we have to check if L of J is bigger than or equal to largest okay now why are we checking if it's bigger than or equal to largest like why don't we like check if it's just equal to so like uh, like this is an example for that okay so now i'll be having a for loop my i loop will be at one okay so my j loop will be at this one so my j loop will be at this one now one is equal to one right like it's not bigger than l of i so we'll continue now my j loop will go to two okay it will go to two it knows that 2 is bigger than 1, right? Because my uh, i is over here and my j is over here. So now 2 is bigger than 1. So I'll uh, change the values of largest and the index. So now largest will be 2 and the index will be 2, right? Okay. Now, like if I come across, so now if I had something like if L of j is equal to largest, on, I mean, is bigger than largest only to shift it so now when i come across this two for example so when i come to this two like i know that like this two is not bigger than largest right like because two is equal to two so what i'll do is i will just interchange this i will get two one one two okay now this is the case if you interchange the first two but what if you interchange the second two if you interchange the second two you will get 2, 1, 2, 1. Now we know for a fact that 2, 1, 2, 1 is bigger than 2, 1, 1, 2, right? So now that is the main reason we put L of J is bigger than or equal to target, okay? So we need to get the biggest number. So now when we'll come across this 2, it is equal to the largest value. So now we'll again, so now largest will remain as 2. Now the target will be, I mean the index will be 3. And then once we exchange it, we will get 2, 1, 2, 1. And we can join it and return the integer form. So now that's the basic idea of how to solve this. Okay. Now let's try to code the whole solution out. Alright. So now I'll be having L, which will be our list of string of num. Okay. So we are putting all the numbers into a list. We'll be having largest is equal to index is equal to 0. Okay. Now for i in range, whoops, a typo, for i in range, length of num minus 1, okay, because our j loop will like go at the end, okay. So now for j in range, i plus 1 to length of l, it's not nums, I'm sorry, it's l, okay. So now what do we do? Now, if L of J is bigger than L of I and L of J is bigger than equal to largest, then what can we do? We can exchange the values, right? Now, largest is equal to L of J and index is equal to J. Now, after the J loop, if largest is more than zero, which means we found a number bigger than L of i, then we can interchange. So L of largest is equal to L of i and L of i is equal to L of index, right? Now that should be it. Then I can just break the loop. Then I can return the int form of joint L, okay? Now let's see if this works. Um, it gives us a warning that it should be an integer and not a string. Oh, I'm sorry. It should not be L of largest. It should actually be L of index. Okay. And over here, it is supposed to be largest. Okay. One very uh, like silly mistake on my part. Okay. Now let's run the code and see if it works. And there you go. It works. Let's submit. So now that's how you solve this problem. Hopefully you guys got the idea. If you have any doubts, do leave them in the comment section down below. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye